Warm greetings, our dear old Fort School Saka pupils. It would have been of great joy for us to interact in our usual way at a personal level. But due to COVID-19 and the social distancing aspects being observed world over, this has become very difficult. Nonetheless, dear children, school must go on. We are delighted to inform you that we'll be bringing school into your homes. This will be done through the Ed Admin student portal. Step number one, finding the student portal. The first thing that you need to do to access the student portal is to make sure that you navigate to the correct web page. The easiest way to find the student portal web page is by going to the web link shown. After you have visited the shown link and the web page has been opened, we recommend that you bookmark this page in your browser so you can find it easier in future. You will then move on to step number two, logging into the student portal. In order to log into your student portal, you will need to enter your student ID number and a password. Your student ID number is available from your teachers. Once that is completed, if you need to reset the password or you are logging in for the first time, proceed to step number three, resetting your password. You first need to reset your password by clicking on the forgotten password button. A pop-up screen will appear where you need to enter the email address that the school has on file for you and fill in a security capture. A password reset email will then be sent to your email address that you entered. Once the email has been received, click on the link in order to set up the password from the password interface. Here are a few password requirements. The password must contain a minimum of eight characters. The eight characters must be a combination of alphabetical character, including at least one uppercase, numbers, and symbols. Please note that once your password has been changed, a confirmation email is sent to your email address. Check email address you entered while resetting the password. Once that is done, proceed to step number four, navigating to uploaded lessons and assignments. The first screen that appears after you have successfully logged in is the dashboard as shown. The first tab that is active or that is showing after I've successfully logged in is the dashboard tab. Click on the learning management system to be able to access your online class notes and exercises. The subjects that you take will be shown here. The notes, class exercises and their due dates will be seen from this screen. Always remember to answer your work before the due date. This is the upload button that allows you to upload or attach a file to be sent to your teachers. This is the area where all the classwork will be done from. Use the save button to submit your work. Click on the plus sign to view your class notes that are active for that active subject. To access the feedback from your teachers, click on the status response icon. Dear children, those are the four simple steps that you will follow as you will be accessing the Ed Admin student portal. Remember to always stay safe.